Ray Kurzweil is a famous futurist who's been right about 90% of the time. He predicted the rise of the internet over 30 years ago in 1984 when most people had never even heard of it. And he even predicted its widespread use by wireless technologies in the 21st century. Ray was labeled crazy at the time. Well, he has some crazy predictions for the next 30 years, including the singularity, which will change everything. What is it? How will it happen? And what will it mean for us mortals? That's coming up next. First, let's look at why Kurzweil is so often right about the timing of his predictions. Most humans tend to think of progress in a linear fashion because that's how our brains work. But Kurzweil correctly makes predictions based on an exponential progression of technology. Most of us don't think this way. Take the example of DNA mapping. In 1990, an international collaboration of scientists was set up to map the entire human DNA sequence. It was a 15-year project. Well, after seven years, in 1997, only 1% 1 of the genome had been mapped. Some scientists estimated that it would take another 100 years to complete at that rate. Ray Kurzweil said, 1%? You guys are almost done. And sure enough, six years later, in 2003, the entire genome had been sequenced. How did that happen? Because the technology of sequencing doubled every year. So 1% doesn't go to 7% in seven years, it goes to over 100%, because 100 is less than seven doublings from 1%. So although some of Kurzweil's predictions seem woo-woo or absurd right now, keep in mind that most of the technologies are following similar doubling trajectories. So let's look at some of Ray's predictions. He predicts that by 2030, Artificial intelligence will be as smart as a human. And by 2045, AI will not only exceed the brain power of a human being, but it will exceed the brain power of all 7 billion human beings on Earth combined. Scientists dramatically call this intelligence explosion the singularity. So how would the singularity happen? Although human intelligence hasn't really changed for thousands of years, our computers are becoming smarter and smarter, about twice as smart every two years. And at that pace, computers will get smarter than us at some point. That point is 2030. These computers or artificial machines, since they would be smarter than us, should be able to build smarter versions of themselves, who would be able to build even smarter versions of themselves in an accelerating positive feedback loop that would result in a runaway explosion of intelligence. Some people, like Bill Gates and Elon Musk, think that this will mean the end of human beings because we will have created something superior to ourselves. Kurzweil thinks otherwise. He believes that rather than compete against us, we will be able to join with the superintelligent beings. How, you ask? So this is where I might lose some of you guys, but just stick with me for a minute. This will happen by a type of mind melt where we will be able to mesh our human brains with the artificial brain, making us more intelligent. And this melding of silicon with the human brain is already happening. For example, for Parkinson's patients, they are carrying a microchip in their brain to help alleviate their symptoms. Kurzweil thinks this technology will go much, much further. He thinks that by the 2030s, we will have the technology to improve our memory and our intelligence by inserting chips inside our brain. We will be able to connect our neocortex, where we do most of our thinking, to a kind of data cloud where we would be able to connect with other people's neocortex. It'll be a kind of internet of brains. So what will be some of the practical applications? Imagine being able to access the knowledge of every human being, similar to the way you can access the internet today Day and get information on just about any topic, learn a new skill or get educated in just about any subject. Just imagine having this information available to you so that it gets integrated into your brain almost the instant that you can think of it. Remember in the Matrix where Trinity learns how to pilot a helicopter simply by thinking about it and her brain downloads the program that makes her an expert pilot almost instantly? This may become reality by 2045. Today, when you want to learn something, you first have to find the pertinent information on the internet, then read it, then comprehend it, then retain it, then practice it so you can become proficient at it. Imagine being able to skip the reading, comprehending, retaining, and practicing part. Say you want to play golf. You could simply download the Tiger Woods program and it would instantly download to your cortex as well as the part of your brain that retains muscle memory associated with it so that you'd become just like Tiger Woods as long as you have the musculature for it. Imagine being able to access the expertise of all the experts in the world and having that at your disposal. This is pretty much what will happen by 2045 according to Kurzweil. 
The superintelligence need not be an entity that is separate from us because we may be able to enhance our own biology or insert cybernetic systems in our brain that gives us superintelligence and super abilities. Imagine that. Arvin Ash here. If you like our videos, please support us by subscribing. Subscribing costs you nothing. It just means that you're going to be informed whenever we put up a new video. We make about one to two videos a week. We'll see you in the next video.